Hello and welcome to another video tutorial for a community question how to see a breakdown of all the items that we have salvaged in the game. Good question and we'll start with first option. If you click on this icon, you can hide and unhide this HUD. This HUD has details of all the scavenged items. Some of these items are by themselves. For example, scrap metal, it's not a category, it's basically an item and you can see exactly how much of a scrap metal you have. However, some of these things are category, for example, raw food. In here, if you just hover your mouse on top of this icon, you will see a breakdown of all the raw food that you have in your camp. The grain, meat, vegetables and subcategories as well. Similarly, for the electronic components, just hover over this icon and you can see how many electronics you have, how many CPU cores and how many power cells you have. So you can hover over these icons and see how many items are available in your camp for a particular category or for that particular item, for example, scrap metal, hay or sticks. So this is one option. However, it has a limitation. The limitation is that if I click on this icon, it doesn't take me to physical storage. So similar thing, if I hover over this group of items, as soon as I move my mouse to hover over any other item, that actually is gone. So you can't click, for example, hides and see where those hides are physically located in your camp. So that's a bit of a disconnect and probably something which developers can work on. But in meantime, I can show you a quick way by which we can do that. So for example, in my camp, I have these storage. So this is my stockpile. So this orange area shows which storage has been selected or what part of the storage has been selected. So when I click on stockpile, I can see that the entire stockpile is selected. However, when I click on this storage shelf, it is selecting this particular storage shelf. So if I have to see what all is there inside this entire storage, I have to first click on this storage shelf and then click on this storage shelf. And then we can get a full view of what's happening. Now, how to read the data on the left, which is appearing. So if I click on this shelf, I can see a group of items over here. However, if you want to see individual items, just unselect this box and you can see that you, you will find all the line items or all the individual items which are stored in this particular storage shelf. So let's say we have 100 and 237 cloth. If I group it, I can see 237 here. However, if I want to see individually how many are there, then this is how you can look at it. This view is useful, especially in the case when you have to send certain things for dismantling. For example, if I don't want this beanie to be here, it's of no use for me or its shelf life is literally gone to zero or next to zero. I'll just do a right click and then I can dismantle this individual item. However, if I click on this grouping and if there are more than one items and I do a right click, then all the items will be dismantled. So if I now click on this, then you see all the items, both these items are getting dismantled, which is probably not what you want. So this is how you can see what individual items are there in the shelf. If you want to see for another shelf, just click on that shelf and you will get another list of whatever is stored in that shelf. Same is the case with your stockpile. You can click on the stockpile and then ungroup the items and then you can see individually which rack has which all item or which section of this stockpile has which item. Still, if you double click on it, it doesn't take you to the actual physical storage, but this is as close as we can get to the physical storage or understanding of physical storage. The same rule will apply for other storage, for example, refrigerators, fridge. So here you can see all the items which are stored. These are group of items. If I click on it, I can see individual items. 
if I have to discard meat soup, I can just right click here and get done with it. Same thing can be done with the cupboards or any any other storage which you have in the game. So anything which has which is a part of this storage group, you can apply the same principles to identify which thing is where physically. So that's what I wanted to cover here in this video. Hope it is useful. And obviously, uh, we will be making suggestions to developer that if we can have a physical link to these numbers, that will be awesome. But till then, this is what we have as of date today. And hope you find it useful. And let me know if I have missed any smarts around this topic. Keep safe and game on folks.